guys, today I wanted to share an awesome DIY nail polish remover that you can make at home with two simple ingredients. You can whip it up in seconds and it's ready to go. So the reason why I wanted to share a nail polish remover today is because, as you can see, I have nail polish that's chipping away on my nails. I don't usually wear nail polish. It's a very rare occasion that I do. I'm still on the hunt for one that is natural, one you can make yourself, or one that's natural and doesn't have any of those toxic ingredients in it. So I'm meant to find that. When I do find that, I probably wear it more often. But when I do wear nail polish, I like to remove it in a more natural way rather than using the nail polish remover you can get from stores and things that's full of chemicals and isn't too great for your nails. Now this one works by sort of removing the enamel on your nail slightly just to take off the paint that's on there. And it's just using completely natural ingredients which is just a win for everyone so you know it's great for your body great for your nails and yeah so without further ado let's get straight into it so to begin with I'm going to start by soaking my nails in some warm water just to help soften the nail bud a little bit make it easier to remove the nail polish later on so I'm just going to soak my hands in a bowl of warm water for 10 to 15 minutes or so and we'll get straight back to you meanwhile Okay, so I've just finished soaking my nails for 10 minutes or so. You can do 10 to 15, just depending how long it takes for your nail bud to soften so it's easier to wipe the nail polish off. So now I'm going to get straight into making the nail polish remover. So what you're going to need is equal parts of white vinegar and some lemon juice. So you're going to mix those two ingredients together in a little small bowl and then you're going to get a cotton bud or if you alternatively have a makeup remover, one of those reusable makeup remover wipes, you can use that instead. I do not have one unfortunately today. I'm investing in that in the future. So I'm just going to use a cotton bud and then I'm just going to pop it in the compost later on so it's no waste. So because mine are starting to already peel away as is, I'm not going to use that much of the Make Me Nail Polish Remover today. So I'm going to use about a tablespoon of each. So one tablespoon of white vinegar, then one tablespoon of lemon juice. Stir that together, then get my cotton bud and dip it in and then just wipe it on my nail. So you're going to leave the cotton bud on for around 20 seconds or so to help that enamel on your nail to break down a bit and make it easier to wipe off the paint that's on your nail. Then once it's dissolved the enamel and you're able to wipe the paint away, you're going to get the cotton ball and just wipe away any of the remaining nail polish. And then you're going to use some nail cream if you have any. I've made some in a previous video so if you want to check out how to make natural nail cream to help strengthen nails, I will link that in the cards above. But this is just it. There's only a little bit left so I'll have to make some more soon. So you're going to use some of that just to put on at the end to help keep your nail hydrated. Now you might have to hold the cotton bud on your nail a little longer if you've used several coats of nail polish. So just depending on how much nail polish you've used on your nail, you may need to hold the nail polish remover on it for a little bit longer. But yeah, let's get straight into doing that now. And voila, there we go. My nails are all done, de-nail polished, which is great. So I've just put on the cream at the end just to keep them hydrated because the vinegar dries them out a bit. So it's nice to put a moisturizer on them afterwards. So if you have a favorite moisturizer or if you have nail cream that you like to use, best to put that on at the end so that your nails don't dry out. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up for me. And if you want to see more videos of mine in the future, you know just to subscribe down below in the corner and hit that bell button right next to it to keep up to date with all my latest videos in the future. Today's shout out goes to the Sars Green Kitchen. Thank you so much for commenting on my brunch date video. It was so beautiful. Thank you for watching and thank you to everyone for watching all my videos. I'm so, so grateful. It means the world to me. I hope to see you in future videos of mine and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.